Can you tell me about your first connection with music? My first connection with music was probably, well, I used to listen to my mum's best friend, Claire, do acoustic covers in pubs with her acoustic guitar. So I was really drawn to that from a young age. And I used to sit in front of her and watch her in awe. So probably that. And when I sang Happy Birthday to my granddad when I was five. Okay, and um, was that also the moment that you decided that you wanted to sing for yourself? Yeah, I think with the, my mum's best friend, Claire, I just loved what she was doing. She was putting her own twist on people's songs and um, really stripping them back. And she sang beautifully, so I just kind of looked up to her. Mm -hmm. And um, in 2009, you made your YouTube channel with your own cover? Yes, that's right. And what made you decide to share those covers with, well, the world? Um, it was actually a friend at school that posted my first YouTube video because I didn't know what YouTube was back then. And then it became kind of like a hobby just to go home from school and record a new song and put a video together and edit it all and upload it. So I guess it started then, really. Yeah, but um, um, did you want to... Um, imp well, impress is maybe the wrong word, but um, uh, why did, did you want to share it with... with well? I think it was because... I took it round my school, the audio of the, I did a cover mm -hmm. of Run by Snow Patrol. And then like I was showing my friends and they were all just like spurring me on like, oh, you need to put this on YouTube, put it on YouTube. So I did that and then it got a really good reaction. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this is cool, this YouTube thing. I can be uh, seen from my little home in Wiltshire in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. by thousands of people. So I think that's the exciting thing that maybe you want to do. Okay. And when did you start writing your own music? When I was about 15, so around the same age. And, well, first you did covers, but what made you decide to write your own music? I don't really know what made me decide to do it. I just kind of did it. I learnt a few chords on the, on the guitar, so I started writing to those, my own melodies. Because I'd always be humming my own melodies over other people's songs, and I'd changed their songs when I used to do the covers a bit. So that was kind of the start of songwriting, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, do you remember the first song you wrote? Yes, it was called Permanent Fixture. And it is still on my YouTube, but I've made okay. it private now. <laughs> so no one can see it, because it's a bit cringe. But, yeah. <laughs> and what is it about? It was about a boyfriend when I was 15. Because what else are you going to write about when you're 15? <laughs> it's like one of those kind of songs. Uh -huh. OK. Um, let me see. Um, I read that you went to a music university to yes. get a degree in songwriting. Yes, I was um, 16, that was. And so then you decided to focus entirely on music, I guess? Yeah, definitely. I've got really supportive parents and a really supportive family back home, so they just let me do what I wanted to do. I wasn't really interested in going to do sixth form and do like maths or science or anything. Mm -hmm. I was like, I want to do music, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, but was there a moment that you um, really thought, uh, well, I really want to do this? Was there a specific moment? Or? I guess when I started working with other writers in London, it was kind of like, oh, this can be a job, mm -hmm. and this is so much fun, and I want to make this my job. That's okay. what it kind of was, I guess. Um, but since you well, are then a schooled singer-songwriter, what's, mm -hmm. what's the most valuable lesson you took from that course? It was mainly a load of lecturers um, telling, giving advice, because they've been in the industry for a long time. Mm -hmm. So I'd write a lot of notes in my notebook. And um, yeah, I guess they taught me about the social media that's like, really important nowadays, mm -hmm. so all of that, and web, having your own website, and they did all that, I guess. But not, not really something about um, how to structure your songs? They did or? a bit of that, but it's kind of, I kind of knew it by then, because I was, I was writing them, so it's just like verse, mm -hmm. pre-chorus, uh, that kind of thing. Okay. And, well, um, what is your approach to songwriting now? How, how do you build a song? It can be, it's quite, literally, if I'm sat on the tube or something, and someone says something, thing in a particular way and I think oh that's kind of a cool way to say that I'll write it down or if I'm walking along the street and I get a melody in my head I'll just record it on my voice notes and then I'll take it into a session with another producer and do the whole thing okay yeah. um and then you start making the music or yeah, just so find writing. the chords search the chords yeah find or? the chords and then do melodies to that and then usually write I've usually got loads of lyrics I've got loads of notebooks mm -hmm. full of lyrics oh, that okay. I've been writing for a long time so, so you the, the the lyrics are your starting point? Yeah, okay. definitely. And what do you, well, what else do you draw, draw inspiration from? From everyday life, I guess. Situations that I'm in or other people are in that I know. And yeah, that's 
going out partying a lot. So. <laughs> My music's got a little bit more electronic dancey uh -huh. now for some reason. So, yeah. uh, do you know why? Probably because I'm going out. I'm around that kind of music, um, so it inspires me quite mm -hmm. a lot. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, well, your single, Silly Little Things, can mm -hmm. you tell me about the story behind that? That was about an ex-boyfriend, actually. So, yeah, but, um, yeah, just fed up with the silly little things he was kind of doing, so mm -hmm. wrote a song about it. Okay. Best way to do it for me. Get it out. <laughs> yes, instead of screaming down the phone. <laughs> um, you're busy with your debut album right now? Yes, it's done, it's finished. Oh, it's finished, yeah. okay. Um, what was the starting point for this album? It's funny because I've been writing the songs since I was about 16 um, with some of the same producers and writers as I've, uh, that I've ended up on the album. So it was, where it kind of started was we all sat down in the room and listened to all the songs I've been writing over the past few years and we just kind of picked our favourite ones mm -hmm. and it just went really well together because it's all about kind of me growing into a woman and that whole journey from when I was 16 to 20 years old. Mm -hmm. There's a lot happens in that time so it's kind of all about that. Okay. Up. Um, and what was the first song on the album you wrote when you were 16, probably? And then, or well, Heart of Blue is on the album, mm -hmm. and I wrote that when I was 16, okay. but it's a new version. Yeah. So I've kind of gone back and done my own twist on my own song. Like <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let me see. Um, so the theme is kind of grow growing up, I guess? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. And, and let me see. You're performing now in a lot of different places, in the Netherlands and mm -hmm. such, mm -hmm. and you're getting more well known. Yeah. Um, what, how do you feel about that? It's exciting, I love it. It's weird though, because I feel like I haven't changed at all, but then I'll be in Topshop in London and some girls will run over to me. Mm -hmm. I'll be there with my sister getting changed in the middle of the shop. And then I'm like, oh, maybe I should be doing this right now. So it's kind of interesting. It's nice to see their reactions and they're just such lovely. I'm really lucky to have such a lovely fan base and they're all kind of like, girls my age and mm -hmm. so we can like relate to each other which is okay. really nice. So what's the most interesting thing somebody has told you about your music? Uh, does it inspire them? I had a fan the other day at a secret living room show that we've been doing in London um, come up to me and she was from Italy and mm -hmm. she just moved over to London because she was at uni and she literally remembers the first song I ever posted which was Run. And she stuck with me that whole time. And yeah. even though she, like, she was saying, like, I c it's so crazy to be talking to you now because I've seen you sit when you were like 16 on the internet and mm -hmm. now you're 20 and I'm just talking to you. So it was really lovely and she was really nice as well. So. But do you feel also feel pressured because of this? Because No, because I'm really lucky that they've just kind of... I've told them, I've been honest with the whole like process of me growing up and my music changing and everything. So And they've just stuck by it. Mm -hmm. So I've been very lucky. But there's no pressure from expectations from the press, for example? Or oh, no. No, no, no. Because I'm a songwriter, so I just write what I want, <laughs> I guess. Okay. And what do you want to achieve? Just What do I want to achieve? Well, I want to sell my music, obviously. That's, what, that's good. Um, I want to be able to, for other people to connect to my own music and relate to it. Um, because that's really important. That's the best reaction you can ever get. When you're at a gig and they're singing along your lyrics that you've written, that's it's like the best feeling. So, yeah, probably that. Okay, well, those are my questions. Thank you very oh, much. Thank you very much.